दिस इज एपिसोड नंबर 26 सिक्स ऑफ माई थर्टी डे कंटिन्यूअस माइंड क्राफ्ट विडियो अपलोड चैलेंज आई हैव बीन कंटिन्यूअसली अपलोडिंग माइंड क्राफ्ट विडियो हो फॉर द पास ट्वेंटी सिक्स डेज स्ट्रेट आई मीन इंक्लूडिंग दिस वन राइट सो या आई यूजली टॉक अबाउट रैंडम स्टेप्स इन लाइफ आई वॉन्ट टू यू नो टेल पीपल अबाउट माई ओपिनियन ऑन सर्टन थिंग्स ऑन अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स मैन आई कंटिन्यूअसली टॉक एंड टॉक एंड टॉक एंड टॉक सो या विदाउट बोरिंग यू लेट्स प्रोसीड एड आई एम डूइंग सम काइंड ऑफ माइंड क्राफ्ट एक्टिविटी इन द वीडियो बट प्लीज ए सर्टेन इट ऑन योर self because i don't know what the hell i am doing here maybe i am traveling and all that so please figure out it on yourself today we are going to talk about one specific thing and that is called mental stability right uh, you know what the term means mental stability means to be more conscious about your thoughts and actions and in your judgment right so one of the things which challenges my mental stability is you know what you are going through your life like if you are struggling in your life through finances or in relationship or in health your mental stability won't be that much okay right you would be kind of uh, you know uh, a little bit off depending upon your challenges so yeah currently i am also going through that stage i am you know kind of uh, in not that much okay stage but yeah i'm overall i'm fine i am just uh, you know just continuously going on and uh, living the hell how can i make it this better i'm thinking of this uh, so can you tell me what you are going through i mean currently people people usually have three kind of uh, hardships through life finances relationships and health i don't see other if if there are other please tell me right i mean only three things really matter to a person's life and its quality you know and they are the finances like what teaches or her salary are they in debt and all that all right and the second one is that health are they ill or they are they muscular and having nice physique and all that or are they having some abd up relationship and all that so i think these are the three things which really matter in life up to a greater extent like there are some responsibilities and relatives and all that but i think that of all them for me at least these three things uh, these three kind of uh, people <laughs> release in these three kind of uh, steps regularly affect your life i am kind of stuttering even in episode number 26 as you might have guessed now that english is not my primary language i you know i ask for forgiveness why stuttering so that people can forgive me but it's episode number 26 freaking i have been uploading for the continuous 25 days straight so i should not stutter but yeah here i am i am a human i make mistakes and in fact i am the epitome of making mistakes so yeah i wanted to talk about mental stability see i think the things which make you more mentally stable is mental toughness and discipline you know see one of the problem people have while looking for mental stability and well being is that they think that the person next to them would make them mentally stable or happy yeah they can make you happy but there is no guarantee that they would make you happy in the next day or the next week or the next month or they have got into some contract of making you happy it's not like that right if the person next to you is kind of benefited from you is having some benefits or advantages through you they are going to make you happy it's it usually happens not in the unconditional love like things like hey, your mom loves you no matter how much you you know detest her or don't like her it's a, it's the other thing but generally i'm not speaking about your mom and all that i'm speaking about other things at least i believe that whatever you are giving people you will get that thing as compared to the intensity of you are giving like suppose you are giving someone 10 dollars then you are going to receive something like 10 dollar or 5 dollar or 15 dollar it's not like you are going to receive 200 dollar or 300 dollar it usually does not happen so my point is my point is that if you think that you will be become more mentally stable or more happy in your life because you get some person some some you know and they can be your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever friends whatever I don't think this is the correct path to follow right the correct path to follow is that nobody can make you happy all right you have to make yourself happy and how can happiness be achieved i am not extremely happy i would not deny that but i am kind of okay in my life since i have you know owned the philosophy of not depending upon others for happiness i have become a lot more happy i work out i mean i work out for like uh, at a regular interval of 2 or 3 days i have i usually get decent sleep i usually decent food so i am think that i am i am thinking that 
I am above uh, happiness for age compared to most of the people around me. You know, see the thing with happiness is that happiness comes in some terms of expectations from the other persons. You know, in the in some form of disguise, like you're expecting your friends to call over for you to uh, make yourself go to party and all that. And if they don't call you, you'll be feeling sad and all that. So we humans are designed to be in uh, you know tandem with other people. We humans are designed to be okay when we are social that's fine but do not like desperately depend upon others for happiness that is a you know perfect ingredient for insanity right and this these are the things i some kind of relied in the past and look where it has got i in my past day age when i was depending on other person for happiness i kind of got hurt and all that and now here i am being philosophical philosophical yeah it's fine it's not that bad but depending upon others is the first step of mental insanity do not depend upon others for happiness right do not desperately depend upon others for happiness because if the person next to you can make you completely happy they can completely make you sad if the time comes if they intend to so why depend upon other others you would never give your bank's locker key or your account id password to a random person all right so why are you gonna ex- expect happiness from some other person uh, this is not the order of randomness and all that you know so but yeah basically i want to tell you that this world is wrapped up so why are you wanting to you know give your mental stability lock boxes key to <laughs> some other person to don't do that yeah i respect everyone treat everyone the way you want to be treated but but my dear friend do not expect for much happiness from others because people are usually busy in their own and mostly mostly people will only contact you when they can get some kind of benefits from you it's society man this is this is what it is okay so you got to inculcate that in your mind and the second step of mental stability i think is being healthy is being healthy safe and sound right if you are like uh, having so many diseases and diarrhea and all that and you think that you will be mentally stable you know you won't be you have to be perfectly healthy i mean not perfectly but at least healthy enough to have non intrusive thoughts of doing something insane right so you have to be kind of mentally stable and all that to be healthy and to be healthy you need mental stability so these are the two things which complement each other so first step is not being desperate for happiness from others second one is being healthy third one is you know having better finances like you know 99.99% of my problems could be solved if i had enough money so yeah money is kind of important in your life like if you have some social security if you have some if you are if your car is having some kind of insurance if your house is under some kind of insurance you have health insurance you have you know so many assets in your bank in your life you are not in debt so that those things you know those things contribute a lot of mental happiness and you know just calmness so yeah you need to be financially sound too so i think that these three things really matter the most for mental stability i mean there are other factors too but uh, to summarize them i think that uh, this is it so uh, the, in this episode we talked about mental stability is this definition what are the uh, things which affect mental stability and we will continue on going this is episode number 25 i have currently four subscribers and uh, ah, it's fine anyway so after this recording i'm going to edit it and then i'm, I'm going to upload it so thanks for being here let's see what happens after day number 30 only 3 days left excluding this one so bye